Hey guys and welcome back. Today we're gonna to talk about some perfumes that Jana is uh, excited to wear in autumn and my job today is because Jana is a little bit ill and had some problems with her voice so I'm gonna talk much more than she will do this time. Yes, I couldn't believe it too, but it's the truth and um, yeah, we're gonna talk about 10 perfumes. 10? 8. Eight perfumes that Jana uh, are excited is excited to wear in autumn, and I have to guess uh, what's inside to describe them and to explain why Jana likes to wear them in autumn. And it's more like a quiz for me because I uh, don't know why. I have to, yeah, I have to guess, and Jana will show at the end of the video if it's right or not. So if you're interested in that, keep on watching, guys. <music> Okay, so the first one, um, we, we will not choose one after another one, it's just to get a little more uh, randomness into the video. We gonna to, I have to pick a, the a, a blotter and the, names of and the, the name are on, are on the, per yeah, right. I will All take right. this one first, it's this, I can read it. You and I'm to too pretty it. to get unfocused, so it's Lepart. Leopard. Leopard. Can you guess leopard. just by looking at them? Just person? by looking at them, this is leopard. No. Okay, so I guess wrong. So which one? This one? Yes. Okay. So, Leopard by. You uh, need to do this oh, okay. yeah, just to cover all the faces. From uh, Sarah, Sarah Baker. Baker. Mm hmm. Um, okay, so. <laughs> Oh. I, I can use the blotter, right? Yes. Yes. You yes. Should use it and did, you should spray. Did, did you kiss this one because there's a little bit of lipstick on the oh sprayer? Oh my god! You see it? Okay. You're so in love with this perfume, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I you're gonna kiss him. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Okay, so Le Pat by Serbeka is. You know what I'll be doing? So oh, you're gonna spray it on your own? Okay. Oh. Okay. All of them. Oh yeah, you know. I'm getting Perfumo. into the fall mood. I can't, <laughs> I, I'm not allowed to talk that much. It's Benny's show today. Thank you. It's my show. That's why we cut off the Tomalis over there. Because <laughs> it's the Benny show, not the Tomalis show. I can't show. try anything here. <laughs> Benny's show. <laughs> it's okay. So, um, it's um, heavy, intense, a little bit deep. Um, Actually, very good in the opening. Um, it seems it, it's not like sweet, but it's more very mint. I don't know why. I, I would recognize a little bit mint inside. Maybe herb, maybe patchouli. Maybe herb. Oh, herb is very good. Because you know, patchouli can hint on the mint quality because it's an herbal note. Mm, okay. It has a minty side. So Benny's nose is always. In, you know, like <laughs> top notch. <laughs> and uh, your decision why you took this perfume into your uh, fall collection is because of the super sweet bottle that fits into this time of the year. Really? Uh, okay. Partly, partly. Partly. Because you know, it's like sexy animalic print. To me, it's it's actually a rose. But it's not a typical mm -hmm. rose scent. Can you smell the rose? No. That's interesting. Because it's not, you know, it's not straightforward rose from your garden. It's like this. I, I'm not even sure if you can hear me, guys. I'm sorry if you can't. Uh, but it's like this sexy, um, animalistic rose that is not too crazy. And, uh, you know, when it's getting cold, you just want something cozy and sexy. Um, and maybe wear something with uh, animalistic print. So uh, for all of that, I have chosen a leopard because you know for the summer season it's just a little bit too heavy, as you've recognized in the opening. It is intense, and uh, yeah, it performs really well when it's uh, cold. But you probably don't know that. But um, no, I would say you get a point for leopard, right, guys? Let's count how many points <laughs> you get. Maybe all eight. Maybe, I doubt it, but uh, okay. So we are going to number two. Two. What should that be? What will that be? Yeah, do this. 
All right. <laughs> he dropped it. <laughs> he's a dropper. <laughs> yes, he's a dropper. Okay, Sigimondo. Sigimondo. Can you guess it just by the name? <sighs> I want to show you guys Benny. Let me do that. <laughs> Frustrated. Is that fine? Oh my god, I'm messing you with my camera setting. Sorry. I am back. <laughs> I am back, back again. Benny's back. Tell your friend. Okay. Zigismondo. Zigimondo. Zigimondo. Okay, can you see it guys? I hope I know the reflection Whoa. of the emblem is a little this bit. Is but <coughs> Wow. wow. <laughs> it's by Quinto Canto, by the way. Paolo Terenzi is the nose. It's sweet, it's floral, it's very intense, delicious a little bit, like gourmand delicious, so just just a, a, a touch of. Mm. It's it, yeah, it, 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 it's it's hard to explain this perfume because it's so so uh, so interesting. It's like you can smell a, a lot of different things at once and. From what I understand, I, you wouldn't classify it as a woody. No, I wouldn't classify it as a woody. Would you classify it as woody? I'm sorry? It's an intensely woody perfume. Woody. Uh, no, I asked you about the woodiness. Okay, but it's but like wood, woody. But mm -hmm. wood is a kind of wood. Well, wood is kind of wood. So, um, I would say it's, it's, it's very hard to describe. It's more like, uh, do you know... Play do. It, it's like uh, something that chi children play with and can stick them together. And it's, it has also a very uh, interesting, intense smell. And it's like uh, Zigmondo. So uh, I would rec not recognize, compare it more with this Play do. It's um, it smells really good. It smells really interesting, challenging, um, different than other perfumes. And the reason why you took it into your uh, fall collection is maybe also because of the heaviness, the, the, this little maybe playful heaviness and of course the color of the bottle that fits absolutely into fall. See, uh, it's very easy. Okay. It's another point for you because it reminds me of fallen leaves and because it's a woody perfume and I think you can smell the woodiness in the air in the fall time. You know what I'm talking about? Like when you walk for the fallen leaves and I don't know. Mm, I, maybe I associate you're right. woody scents with the autumn time. So I think we can easily give you another point for this one. So the first one is Poppy by DSH Perfumes. Oh, oh, you can yeah. see it. And uh, yeah, let's spray it. Let's talk about it. Oh. oh, I know, it's ga this game is pretty challenging. This is really challenging. It, it, it's for, in the first moment it smells for me like a liquor. Ooh. Like liquor from, from chocolate. Not, you know, sometimes like Moncherie or something like that. It's chocolate and liquor inside and this smells like a gourmand, sweet liquor that's inside. It smells more like, like um, 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 pe pear? Pear? Pear. Pear? Pear? Mm -hmm. um, so you, you get the fruity twist in there, right? Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. And you smell so much uh, like other perfumes that, that, oh, that I have so to... Oh, so I won't yeah. be spraying anymore. Um, no, that, it's, it's very gourmand, I would say. Like foodie, so. like to eat? Like something sweet, delicious, licorice. Okay, now, maybe a little bit now, boozy. J just get why would I wear it? Why would you wear maybe it? It shouldn't be a review. 
Oh, I'm sorry, that's right, it's, it's not a review, it's why did you choose this as a fall perfume and I can't tell you why you choose this as a uh, fall perfume, but I don't want to give this point up, so I will take a shot and say it's because you are used to drink much more in fall than usually and so this sweet delicious liquor reminds you of that, so that's why you choose it into the collection, I don't know, I'm sorry. My face clearly says that you are wrong. <laughs> That's right, but... Um, the thing is, it, it is a challenging one for you to guess. It reminds me of Mitsoko by Guerlain, for those of you who are familiar with this legendary fragrance, which is a chypre and it's mossy with this peach nuance, mm -hmm. so almost yes, correctly, not pear peach, and it has this moss, you know, like moss to the touch, it's yeah, very yeah, textural, yeah. and so is peach skin, you know. Right. So it's kind of like that. And the boozy element is very intriguing that you pointed it out because I've never recognized it, but Dawn is very good at boozy elements. So I don't think I will give you this point. It smells to me like harvest, you know. Harvest. Um, that's okay. why. Yeah. And, yeah, and because, maybe, and because right, there is like a right. dirty mossy element which also transports me maybe not to the forest, but to some kind of like to natural backyard, yeah, mm. yeah, 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 and it's like understand. harvesting and field or forest and stuff like that, plus it is warming and yeah, to me it's a fall scent, it's not too heavy for the winter and it is not too light for the uh, summer, it's in between, that's it. Um, I can't read it, well, Junun, Junun, Junun. So Janum by Al Haramein is the next perfume. And these you know, are this from Al super sexy bottle and also the blotters are from <laughs> Al Haramein. And yeah. One yeah. fritz finger. Wow. Mm -hmm. It smells delicious, a little bit vintage for the first moment. Uh, but only from the bottle because of the first spray it doesn't smell at all like <laughs> from the bottle. So it's for, for me, I'm sorry, it's uh, you can smell that it's a very high quality perfume, but for me it's more like a very high quality soap, actually. It smells so soapy, S from the beginning at least. Mm -hmm. I don't know how it develops, but uh, it's very, very soapy. It's uh, even delicious gourmand, maybe a little bit, maybe there are some nuances inside with, with I don't know, but um, yeah, it's very soapy and I can't imagine why you will choose this into your fall collection, but when the would bottle you is so pretty. When would you personally wear it? When? Yeah, if not in the fall, you can't understand my choice. Which season is it's best for you? I, I, I think it's spring, would be better. Okay. Because of the clean cleanness. Ah, okay. I see where you're going. See, but, but now for me it's not very clean. Although yes, it is clean now when you are pointing that out again. I like how your mind works today. Um, it's very powdery. It's like baby powder. Oh yeah, right. Like kind of. And, it, it... and I find that scent is quite. Um, satisfying, it smells very elegant, but it is a very heavy fragrance, it's like full-on, it's like mm -hmm. pungent, like to you the cleanness might be sharp, to me it's that powdery uh, side of it, so I think such sharp fragrances are nice to wear when it is colder, but at the same time when it's not like extremely cold and snowy and like you're mm -hmm. wearing mm -hmm. something aldehydic and you're like, you know, crisp sparkle, I don't know, um, so yeah, it's it's for that, it's just like a very cool perfume, it's chilly, but at the same time, you know, um, it's for those uh, warmer uh, autumn days, plus I love powdery fragrances. So, so guys, if you have any experiences with this perfume, um, tell us what do you think, is it more for fall or for autumn, um, for spring, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's for, for, yeah, for, yeah, for the it's spring, for fall or for autumn. <laughs> so you can't be wrong, right? <laughs> now uh, for spring or for uh, the fall, and because in my opinion, it's more, it's more for spring. But okay. That's all right. You don't get the point. It's okay. All right, Benny. Next one. Veil. 
Yeah. Wow. Well. <laughs> well. Oh well. I'm I'm sorry, Emma. Right. I have to show to the camera because, you guys, can you read this? Come on, focus. It's not always like wow. I would say it's wow. Okay, but uh, right, it's wow by Yop. Um, I think it's the smallest bottle today. No. Oh. So you. Not wow. Oh. 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 Like. Oh la la la. Don't know what I should say. Yeah. Oh la 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 la. Uh, no. So it's um. It's also sweet. I think powdery too. It's it's nothing special. It's calm. I think it's not that projecting. It's it's a classic, nice perfume that I think you could wear all over the year even. Maybe not in the summer when it's really really hot, but uh, f from the rest of the rest of the year you can wear it. So. Um, I like your choice, but I don't know why you choose. Wow. All right, I'll keep this one short. It's a mass appealing musky for chili. It smells um, kind of sexy, but in this very mass appealing way, not in the some um, strange way, like some niche perfumes, for example, Sigimondo, which is totally unique, like nothing else. And this one is very. Um, easy to understand for people, that's why I wanted to have one of those more commercial offerings today, mm. you know. So it's just something very easy going. It um, is, as you've said, maybe a little bit too heavy for summer. And since it is not very intense, it wouldn't be enough for winter. So when is it great to wear it? In between. In spring. <laughs> no, Yay, it's in spring, between. <laughs> in spring I tend to uh, grab my floral fragrances, you know, maybe yeah. aquatic perfumes that kind of like represent the season for me, like when the nature awakes, you know. In okay. fall it's like for heavier, sexier stuff, so I think you get this point, you guess correctly. You just needed to put two things together, That's like okay. you said. Yana can't really um, count. Yana can't really count. Okay, okay. okay so it's so the next one. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. It's... I, I keep glazed by keep House glazed. of Wood in the most fantastic bottle ever. Benny will show you it, this masterpiece. By the way, if so you want, one. you can tell the story. The story about this egg and uh, how we get one. Get one? Got one? Yes. We yeah. So uh, we went to, I think it was Milan. Milan? Yes, Exence it was. Exence and... Really? Yes. <laughs> it's, so, it's, it's still like pina colada, you know? It's so hot, pina colada. If you know the cocktail, you know this perfume. It's so intense. No, I'm sorry, yes. Pineapple, creamy, sweet. It's... It's like yeah, right coconut. It's like it's like a pina colada in your face, you know. <laughs> and it's so delicious. But it it doesn't explain, in my opinion, this pina colada style why you would choose this one. So we went to you're on the right track. So we went to Milan to the booth of uh, the House of Oud, and they had this special presentation of how they are painting these eggs, and it was really amazing. It was a process, I think it was about 10 minutes and this egg was done and it was beautiful and now I understand why each of these eggs is so unique in its design. Of course, they are all red, gold, white, but they are still handmade and one egg is not like the other egg. They are always differences. It's not egg the bottle. <laughs> no, it's for me like, I'm sorry if I'm talking about eggs because for me it looks a little bit like the egg of the shape and... This is um, actually the cap. Yeah, but um, the bottle, that's right, the bottle. If I said the egg, I meant the bottle. And uh, maybe because of the, uh, the, um, the presentation and because of the colors you choose it into your fall collection um, because, yeah, I understand pina colada but, but I don't know why pina colada should be 
something compared with fall. Explain this, please. So, okay. so where, where is the... the, the Pina the... Colada for me is num not number the one link. association with summer, but I associate it with summer. I smell yeah. Pina Colada, I drink it and I'm like, oh, summer, beach, fun, right. sun, happiness. It's summer. Yes. Yes. And when it's cold, I want it to be warm. And that's why on those days when I really miss summer, I can put on a little bit of keep glazed and, you know, pretend that it is summer. That's right. I understand. Okay. Okay. Now it's not that confusing anymore? Uh, s still a little bit, but it, it's okay. I understand what you meant. I understand that you want to, to get your head into a time where it's warmer and that you get a better mood. Um, that's okay. So, this one is... Oh, Toscanello! This hmm. name seems familiar, right? This name seems familiar. It's my, one of my favorites, I think, from your collection. Uh, I, I was in love, I fell in love from the first sniff I smelled it. Also on Exons, when I remember right. And it's um, very, very, very childish. <laughs> I think this is... A good explanation because I remember also the story behind this perfume and it's, oh, you know, it's, it's by Profumi del Forte. I'm sorry. It's Profumi del Forte. It's okay. Um, <coughs> it's 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 hard for me to subscribe this perfume as someone who doesn't know this perfume because I know this perfume very Don't good. Don't subscribe to it. Just describe. Oh, oh describe. Sorry, <laughs> but so it's it's sweet with something that that might bother other people, it's a uh, coffee inside that you can smell all the time through this perfume and the, the background, like right now the sweetness is like honey I think, maybe it's milk later uh, it's developing and changing all the time but the coffee line is still there no, always, all the time. And I love this perfume, I love this uh, it's so <laughs> sorry um, I don't know why you took this one into the fall uh, collection because I love this one and it's not that light that you can sm that you can wear it in summer. It's heavy enough to wear it in winter, in my opinion at least. So um, it's maybe also because of this very beautiful, beautiful bottle. Um, but it's like always the last chance that it's the bottle if I don't <laughs> recognize the, 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 the link between perfumes and How fall. are sweet perfumes classified? What's the name for that group? Sweet. <laughs> what? Gourmands. Gourmands. Yeah. And I love heavy sweet perfumes in the summer. I know, I'm crazy. And Yes, you're right, it's heavy enough for winter, but I don't like gourmands in the winter. And it's just too much for the summertime, it's very cozy. Like this perfume, that reminds me of childhood, is very cozy. You know, it's like warm milk with lots of honey, maybe just a shot of coffee and like caramel and delicious things. It's literally mouth-watering, it's for gourmand lovers. And that's for, I'll be wearing it before the winter comes and after the summer is over, you know? It's a okay. gourmand, it's heavy on the sunny um, but chilly autumn days it's gonna be perfect because it's gonna be cozy but at the same time sweet and delicious, yeah? I need to have at least one obviously gourmand perfume in the okay. fall rotation. So the last one, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we have three but I just counted wrong. No, it's okay. It will be the last one, you know? Yeah, I know. I'm kind of glad that you picked this Vienna? one. Vienna? Yes, Vienna. Na 1900? Ooh. Oh. Ooh. What's oh, I'm, I'm saying ooh because, guys, do, do you recognize this bottle? I think we just What's lately that? used this bottle to make a review in D-Book. 
Yeah, but not this perfume. Not this perfume, but the bottles are all packed the same, I think. Kind so, of. Yeah. All right, it's Vienna 1900, um, patchouli mm. number oh, 34 mm. by Malik Perfumes from Canada. Uh, okay, so this one is different to all the other ones. It's more, um, it's more spicy. It's more, I don't know if it's pepper or not, but it's really more spicy, more, uh, more deli not delicious. Delicious is the wrong word, but it's like it's. It's a very nice perfume, not overwhelming, it's, it, it has a good uh, projection, it's not too calm, it's nothing blah, you know, it's, it's like mmm, mmm, mm. and yes. you will stay still for a couple of seconds and think, what's the good smell here, what, what, what does smell here so good? And you can say, oh yeah, it's, it's, it's Vienna 1900, you know, it's, it's, it's yeah. me, so. <laughs> um, no, that's a very good perfume, and... You are yeah. close with your mmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and what would be better than mmm? Ah? I don't know, that's <laughs> Neither, point. so. Oh. What do you mean with I was close with mmm? No, you didn't even try to guess why no, you did it, choose, I, so maybe you guessed uh, it, didn't it? I think you choose you it be, be, because you want to have something different in your fall time. To get more into the, at the end of the fall, that you're getting into the winter mood with the spiciness inside, to get more into the winter frags, maybe something like that. Yes, yeah? okay, okay, i give you this point. It's a sexy, spicy patchouli with kind of oh. like patchouli that's different from leopard. In both of these you get patchouli, mm -hmm. but this is rather that herbal patchouli and this is rather the chocolatey patchouli because patchouli can be very different. So yes, it's a sexy spicy patchouli. Perfect for colder autumn days that are kind of like merging into the winter. Alright guys, that kind of completes this whole game. Benny, let's, let's count how many you got right. You got what did you get? Leopard, Sigimondo, Malek. I think that's all. <laughs> I think it was only three points. <laughs> only three that's out of out, eight. Out of eight. That's, that's okay. That's it's like nearly fifty percent. So it's yes. it's okay. It's Next okay. Next time you'll be better. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> uh, m maybe still worth mentioning is uh, the last two perfumes that didn't get drawn. So mm -hmm. it's Remember Me mm -hmm. by Javoy. Mm -hmm. No, maybe this bottle. Oh, sorry. And the last one would be Rasa by Stolen Perfumes. Rasa by Stolen Perfumes. Natural perfume from LA. And yeah, guys, that's all for today. Um, thank you for watching. If you got any suggestions or uh, ideas or maybe perfumes that you would rather smell in in autumn or, or maybe in winter, it will be the next season, so um, you can leave your things and thoughts down below in the commentary section. And don't let your things, if... <laughs> don't let your comments below. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. We are posting, I think, daily new content. Right. Yeah, this it's week like... only three times because you know Benny has already mentioned I am sick, so I'm really glad that you came over and helped me to do something entertaining, but very casual. You know, I'm not even wearing makeup. I'm my um, <laughs> uh, how did Rachel call them apartment pants? Oh, apartment pants, pants, yeah. Apartment. I think Thank that's you. all for today. Yeah. Thank you. I will see each other in the next video. Bye. Bye, guys.